things change, I'm grown. I ain't getting dethroned. Hit the gas and I'm gone. What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you this amazing transition effect for your music videos or just videos in general. We are going to have to use an image for this to work. I do want to give a big shout out to Pixel Film Studios for sponsoring today's video. Also, don't forget to check them out on YouTube where they provide their own comprehensive Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials covering a variety of topics. You can visit their YouTube playlist, which I will link down below. And also, please use my coupon code KingPixelPro at checkout if you guys decide on getting this awesome plugin. What we want to do is we have this image here, so it goes from a video. I'm going to mute the audio for now, but we have this video, and then it goes to the image that we want to use to pretty much make our subject talk. And again, it doesn't have to be music. It can be anything. So all we're going to do is press Command B, and then go to the end here, and then press Command B, and this will go ahead and split that audio. So from here, we're going to right click on the audio and go to New Compounds Clip, because we want to just export this selection and not the entire timeline. I'm going to name this Audio Selection, and I'm going to click OK. So then you can just double click. So then go to File, Share, and then Export File. And then you're going to go ahead and just name it to whatever you want, and then make sure under Settings, you change the format to audio only, and then you change the audio format from AAC to WAV, and then I'm gonna save it on my desktop, so click Save. If you already have your audio, you can completely skip this step. So I'm gonna go back here, and now we gotta re-import that audio. We're gonna go over to File, and then Import, and then Media, and then we're gonna go to the desktop. I'm gonna select the audio and click Import, and then once you have that, we're gonna go over to the plugin that we're gonna be using in today's video. Okay, so what you wanna do is go over to the Pixel Film Studios Pro Liquist Volume 2 plugin, and then you're gonna select the audio analyzer and just drag that above your media in the timeline. It doesn't matter where you place it, just drag it there. Then go over to the inspector tab and you're gonna go down to the audio controls. So you're gonna click on load and analyze audio file. We're gonna go ahead and select the audio that we just exported to our desktop. Again, this can be any audio you want. And then click open. And then it's gonna say analysis finished. Press the copy data button to process results. So click okay. Go ahead and click copy analysis data. Here is you can of course change all of these settings here. Uh, but we're gonna skip this for now. I think everything here is okay. So we're just gonna delete the audio analyzer. And then we're gonna select the still image here in the timeline. And we're gonna go over to the effects. And then we're gonna add the Pro Liquist volume to. You also have the instructions here. From here, we're just gonna click on paste data. And once you do that, you're gonna notice that the image is starting to kind of move. Now we just gotta mask out the area that we want to use, in this case, his mouth. So we're gonna zoom in to like 150. And I'm gonna go kind of around like this. So click and drag to make a smooth curve. And and I'm gonna go here, and then I'm gonna finish back on the first point here. It should look like a pen tool. So now it's gonna look really strange, so we're just gonna go back up here. So we're gonna go ahead and skip that, but we're gonna go down to the mask controls, and we can turn off or on the on-screen controls for the mask in case you want to see what's happening. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that off for now. And you can also feather the mask here. So you can feather this inwards, or you can feather it outwards. I'm gonna turn that off for now. You can also clear the mask data in case you mess up. You can start over. And now if we go down to the animation type, we have down, which will look like this. And if I go back and I push play, or we can go up here, which looks kind of strange. So I'm just going to go back to down. And then the amount, it's set to 10. So the more you drag this, the more separated it is from his mouth, which is a little bit strong. So we're going to go back down to like four, maybe. And this looks a little bit more realistic, I suppose. So if we go back and push play, I ain't getting dethroned, hit the gas and I'm gone. I'm gonna maybe increase this to like seven. And then smooth is pretty much how smooth it flows in and out between each word. I ain't getting dethroned. So if I go like here. Getting dethroned, hit the gas and I'm gone. Or if we go to like zero. Getting dethroned, hit the gas and I'm gone. And then from here, I'm gonna go down to the style control. So what this does, it pretty much changes the way that this is stylized. So you can change the background. So instead of it being like black, you can change that to a different color. Just click the black box here. And then you can change this to any color that you want. And of course, you can always use the eyedropper tool to select a color on your video. But for now, we're gonna go black because I think that looks kind of cool. And then you also have the option of using the drop zone. So you can change the black background to an image, a video, really doesn't matter. 
just make sure you change the background type to drop zone. And then if you click on this, you can select like say this and click apply. And now the background will be shown. And you can of course change the scale. We're gonna turn that off though for now and go back to color. And again, you have further settings. You have a drop shadow if you want that, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then you can of course increase the blur to kind of make it soft. So from here, what I wanna do is go over to, and by the way, if you think this is off by a little bit, just play around with the offset frame. Okay, so once we are happy with that, we're gonna go ahead and hide the effect for now. And then what we're gonna do is we're pretty much going to create a still image. Make sure the playhead is at the beginning, go to edit at the top, go down to add freeze frame. And this again will create a still image with the actual plugin, which is kind of nice. So we're gonna drag this directly above and then we're gonna shift it a little bit to the left. And between this area and this here is how long this transition will last. So we're gonna go a little bit longer, delete the rest. And then I'm gonna kind of shift this over a little bit. I think that's fine. We're gonna pretty much mask him out. So we're gonna go over to the effect and we're gonna go down to the masks and then we're gonna add a draw mask onto the freeze frame and then from here just make sure that you do a good selection here you can zoom in if you want to for the sake of the tutorial I'm just gonna go through this very quickly here and then once you're ready go ahead and finish off with the first point you made just click that and then make sure you move these points down so there's no gap like underneath. So now it should look like this. And then all you gotta do is go through the settings here again and you can change like the feather. If you wanna feather outwards, I'm gonna do that a little bit. And then select the draw mask, go to transform. Right here is where you want it to begin. Just make sure that if you start it here that you add the keyframe, you add it here and then go to the transform next to X for position, just drag this to the left like that and then go to the end of that frame, one frame to the left and then just type in zero and press enter. This will go back to the original spot. Now we wanna make it a little bit more interesting. And then from there, you wanna to go to the blur under effects and then add the directional blur onto the freeze frame. From there, just go to the amount and then increase this a little bit to like 80 or so, five frames from the end of that clip. So one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna add a keyframe next to amount and then go to the end and then just drag this to zero. Grown, I ain't getting deep thrown, hit the gas and I'm gone. So we're gonna go to the beginning and go to the transform next to the square box here. You're gonna have this little arrow, click on that and go to crop and then go to Ken Burns. With the Ken Burns selected, you're gonna see a start and end. The start is where it's going to begin, which should fill up the frame. And then the end here is the where it's going to end at the end of that video clip. So click done. And now if we skim through, you're gonna see it's gonna look like this. I'm grown, I ain't getting dethroned, hit the gas and I'm gone. Again, a big special thanks to Pixel Film Studios for sponsoring today's video. So I'll catch you next time.